If you're looking for the best backpacking sleeping pad, here's a collection that you've got to see. At any time, you can click the circle. For, at any time, you can click the circle for more info and real-time deals. Number one most popular: Thermarest Neo Air X Lite Ultralight Backpacking Air Mattress. In our opinion, the Thermarest New Air is the best all-round three-season sleeping bag on the market. The x Lite has a rare combination of comfort, support, warmth, and weight that make it very tough to beat for lightweight backpacking. This pad does come at a premium price, but it's well worth it once put to good use. The main knock of the x Lite is that it makes a crinkling sound when you shift around in it. The heat-reflective material increases its warmth. We agree that it's a bit noisier than other pads, see noise section below, but it's really not that bad. This pad also comes in a slightly warmer and shorter women's version. Number 2. Exped Megamat 10 Insulated Self-Inflating Sleeping Bag The Exped Megamat 10 is the absolute daddy when it comes to warmth, and it's therefore our pick for the best winter sleeping pad. It's 6.5 foot long, 2.57 kilograms in weight, and 10 centimeters thick with a brushed soft fleece surface. You get a lot for your money with the Mega Mat, and while it will certainly keep you warm with an R value of 9.5, its only downfall is the issue of practicality and weight. It's likely that if you're in need of a pad like the Mega Mat, you're doing some serious outdoor winter adventuring. Nobody fancies carrying 2.57 kilograms on their back for a sleeping pad, but if you're planning a serious winter excursion and afford the additional weight, then this is a great pad. Number 3. Nemo Tensor Ultralight Sleeping Pad The Nemo Tensor Insulated Pad is thick, comfortable, and quieter than any other air pads we've tested. Unlike many sleeping pads, Nemo makes the Tensor in several shape and size options, including Mummy, Rectangular, and the elusive Regular Wide model. The Tensor also comes with a very convenient pump sack, which makes inflation fast and easy. The well-designed zero-profile valve on the Tensor allows for quick inflation and deflation and micro-adjustments. There's no official R-value for the Tensor, but Nemo claims it will work down to 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We think that's an overestimation, but the Tensor will still work well for most three-season backpacking trips. Check out our full review of the Tensor here. Number 4. Big Agnes Q-Core SLX Ultralight Sleeping Bag Another rectangular and super cushy inflatable sleeping pad, the Big Agnes Q-Core SLX is like sleeping on air in the backcountry. This might get the award for most comfortable sleep. It has built-in heat reflective technology, antimicrobial treatment, multi-directional support and stability construction. Super lightweight and compact, this three-season sleeping bag has a quilted top providing a soft-to-the-touch sleeping surface. Large outer chambers to keep you comfortably cradled in the middle of a pad. The Q-Core SLX ups the ante on quilted comfort in the backcountry. Redesigned offset eye beams create incredible multi-directional support and stability. The Q-Core SLX is lighter, tougher, easier to inflate and deflate, packs smaller, sleeps warmer. Number 5. Nemo Switchback Foam Sleeping Pad For the ultralight budget backpacker whose hot and gear doesn't want the possibility of a ruptured air pad, closed cell foam pads are a great option. While Thermarest's Z Light Sol has had the corner on the foam pad market for some time now, there's a new kid on the block. Nemo's new Switchback Ultralight Sleeping Pad offers a slightly increased thickness and packs down a bit smaller too. Nemo rates the Switchback for 20 to 35 degree Fahrenheit use, but we wouldn't recommend any foam pad for sub freezing temperatures. While not nearly as comfortable as inflatable sleeping pads, if you want a pad that'll never pop, the Nemo Switchback should be a top consideration. Check out our full review of the Switchback here. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video.